Hi friends. After a couple of weeks of really being in holiday mode, I hope it feels good to you to actually be back into real life as much as we can have it in 2021. I think even though not much has changed yet with the pandemic and our ability to live normally, uh, I, this year does hold promise for us. And um, I hope it feels good to you to feel the lightness of 2021. It does to me, I know. I wanna share something with you today, uh, a little bit of news. A few weeks ago, on a weekend when there were demonstrations in Washington, D.C. connected with the, um, the legitimacy of the federal election in November, there was one weekend when there were many distract, uh, demonstrations and conflicts between demonstrators on both sides of that protest. And there were, there were four churches whose banners that said Black Lives Matter were destroyed by protesters. Our ministry team uh, heard that on the news and decided that we wanted to do something to demonstrate our support of those congregations and our solidarity with them. And so we took a fund uh, that has been given to the church specifically for the purposes of helping us become a more anti-racist congregation. Uh, and we used that money to send four gifts to these churches whose banners had been destroyed and said that we would like to help them replace those banners. Just this week, I got a note back from the pastor of Mount Vernon Place United Methodist Church in Washington, DC. And I wanna share it with you because it's such a lovely note. Her name is Donna Sokol and she says this, Dear Reverend McShane, your extraordinary gift of solidarity, support, generosity and compassion touched me deeply. Thank you so much for the generous heart of your congregation that is living out your vision to see all people flourish. Your gift has purchased an even bolder banner for all to see. More importantly, your investment in God's work at Mount Vernon Place will push us into deeper levels of faithfulness as we seek to live into all that being an anti-racist church entails. May God abundantly bless you and your church as you make a difference in Los Altos and in DC. Gratefully, Donna. This is someone I don't know, but she has been marked by the generosity of LAUMC, just like I have been, and just like many people in our community have been. So thank you. Thank you for one more way that you have been generous. That's along with our Advent generosity offering, which as of today is over $165,000 in total, far exceeding our goal and our expectation. Thank you so much. Starting the year with this kind of generosity is a good sign uh, and a gift of your gratitude to God for being with us all through the last year as well. Take good care.